Today, I'm going to give you some pointers to help you have a smoother sailing on the Scarlet Lady. These tips will help you avoid lines, waiting, and overall frustration. I just completed my six virgin cruise, and I've learned some tricks that can hopefully improve your voyage. If that sounds interesting, please keep watching. Hello everyone, I hope you are having a splendid day and if you're new here, welcome. I just disembarked the Scarlet Lady a few days ago. The ship was at over 90% capacity. We were told that this sailing had more passengers than ever before. And overall, I thought Virgin did a good job handling the crowds and we had a nice cruise. It wasn't all smooth sailing, but I'll get into that in a future video when I do my full cruise review. If you don't wanna miss that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I think my next video is going to be more Scarlet Lady secrets and then I'll do the full cruise review right after that one. And before I get started, I just want to say if I was lucky enough to meet you on this recent cruise, thank you so much for stopping by and saying hello. I love meeting some of my fabulous viewers. I want to point out that the information that I'm going to give in today's video is just my personal experience and that cruise lines can change their policies at any time. With all that being said, let's dive into my top tips. Let's start with embarkation, the Scarlet Lady is now assigning boarding times and they are enforcing those times. I wouldn't arrive any earlier than your assigned time. However, if you want to be some of the first passengers on board, there are some pointers I can give you. First, consider purchasing the Splash of Romance package. As part of this package, you will get priority boarding. In fact, you'll board right after the sweet guests. If you purchase this $200 package, you and your traveling companion will be some of the first people on board. This package is limited to 75 staterooms, I believe, so you should try to get the package as soon as possible. And if you do purchase it, I would get to the terminal around 1 p.m. because the Scarlet Lady starts to board at 2 p.m. If you don't get this package or don't want to pay for it, there is another way that you can get on board before most of the other passengers. And that is to be part of Virgin Sailing Club. The Sailing Club is Virgin Voyages Loyalty Program. Sailing Club members board right after Splash of Romance. If you aren't already a member because maybe you've never sailed with Virgin before, don't worry, you can still be part of the sailing club. Virgin has a loyalty match program where they will allow you to join their club and get the perks by submitting proof of your status on other cruise lines. And these perks include priority boarding. I will put the link to Virgin submission form in the description box below for you. Now, if you are a sailing club member, you're going to need to bring proof of that with you to the terminal. You might want to take a picture of your status. That's what we did. We logged onto Virgin's website on our phone and we took a screenshot of the area where it said that we were sea blazers. That's the level that my husband and I are in the sailing club. Another option is to print out the email showing the acceptance of you in the sailing club when you do the loyalty match program. But bring some sort of proof with you and then look for signs for the sailing club when you get to the terminal. Before I move on, I want to point out one more thing and that is if you bring a large suitcase, you're going to have to check it with a porter. You cannot carry large bags on board with you if they will not fit in the security scanner. And they will send you back outside if your suitcase can't fit. Carry-on size bags are fine, but large suitcases should be checked. Now let's talk about dining reservations, and this was kind of a mess on this sailing. We were told that Virgin will allow 40% of all dining reservations to be made in advance of the cruise. That's a little weird because that means that 60% of all the dining reservations have to be made once you're on board the ship and we were part of the 60 percent when we boarded the Scarlet Lady, we didn't have any dining reservations. So my advice is to make dining reservations in advance if you can. Virgin says that sailors traveling in standard cabins can reserve dining 45 days prior to departure. And it's 60 days for those booked in Rockstar or Mega Rockstar quarters. So as soon as you can, I would call Virgin and speak to a representative and make all your dining reservations that way. 
I think it's much easier than trying to use the app. But if you are unable to make diner reservations in advance, you're going to want to get on board the ship as soon as possible so you can reserve your restaurants. On our sailing, we went right to the pizza place, we put in our order, and then my husband and I sat down and logged into the app so that we could make our reservations. We did this in tandem so we could do it faster. And this is how it's done. Once you're on board, turn your phone to airplane mode, turn Bluetooth on, and then log on to Virgin's Wi-Fi. It's called Mermaid something. And then you should be able to make reservations for dining and shows. Now, because a lot of sailors don't have reservations, they are all trying to do this at the same time. So the Wi-Fi will probably be even slower than normal. And by the way, even though basic Wi-Fi is included on all Virgin voyages, I would recommend that you upgrade to premium. Their basic Wi-Fi is not great. Upgrading to premium, in my opinion, is worth it and it will help you avoid some frustration on your cruise. Premium Wi-Fi on the Scarlet Lady is around $50 per voyage and that's for three devices. So if you and your traveling partner only have three devices, you don't need to buy a second package. You can share one package. Also, remember that on a four or five night Virgin cruise, you can only book each restaurant once for dinner. On this cruise, we had dinner at the Wake Steakhouse Extra Virgin, the Italian restaurant, Pink Agave, the Mexican restaurant, Razzle Dazzle, and Gung Bay, the Korean barbecue restaurant. I did find out on this cruise that you are allowed to book two brunches at the Wake Steakhouse and two brunches at Razzle Dazzle. We had brunch twice at Razzle, once on each sea day, and enjoyed both very much. Once you've booked dining, immediately try to book any shows or activities. On our cruise, most of the activities like the pub crawl, cocktail tastings, and even fitness classes were completely booked. And we were some of the first people on the ship. I think they give priority to sweet guests. But we were able to get reservations to one show. It was called Around the World in 80 Minutes with the Diva. It's a drag show and it was a lot of fun. Highly recommend, but I'll tell you more about it in my full cruise review. Now, if you are getting kicked off the Wi-Fi on embarkation day, don't bother going to guest services because it's happening to everyone. Everyone is trying to make reservations at the same time. It's frustrating, but just be patient. And if you do need to go to sailor services and there's a line, don't get discouraged. The crew does a great job of triaging passengers and they will typically get to you in a very short time. And if you want to avoid the line completely, dinner time is the best time to visit sailor services. My next tips are all a little random, so I'm gonna give them to you in no particular order. The first one is about Bimini Beach Club. When the Scarlet Lady is in Bimini, almost everyone gets up, has breakfast, and then heads to the island. They stay there through lunch, and then they go back to the ship. Instead of rushing off the ship, you may want to take an hour or two and go visit the hot tubs on deck, and then head to the island and spend the afternoon there. The Bimini Beach Club is much less crowded later in the afternoon. This way, you'll get the best of both worlds. No crowds on deck and less people at the beach club. On this cruise, Tom and I stayed on the ship the morning we were in Bimini, and we had the deck all to ourselves. We even had a hot tub to ourselves and we were able to have some nice time together, exhale and relax away from the crowds. Another good relaxing option is to stay on the ship in the morning and spend an hour or two in the thermal suite in the spa. It's $39 per person for a three hour window and it has a mud room, steam room, sauna, salt room and a few plunge pools. Moving on to shows. If you have reservations to a show in the manor and that is Virgin's nightclub, get in line early. I would recommend at least 30 minutes. You'll have a better chance to get a seat because a lot of people end up having to stand for shows in the manor. And try to get a seat on the lower level for better viewing. Next, if you're drinking beers or seltzers and the line at the bar is long, you can order a few extra and ask for them to be unopened. You can keep them in the fridge in your cabin and then just grab one when you head off to the pool, for example. Or you can enjoy them in your stateroom. This is more of a nice to know. On our recent cruise, we never had to wait very long for a drink and the bar staff overall was excellent. And don't forget to bring your two bottles of a loud wine or champagne 
with you on board. And finally, this is a small one. If you're dining in the galley, be sure to flip up the flag when you're ready to order. This signals the server to come over. I hope you found this information valuable. If so, please give this video a thumbs up. I have several more Virgin videos coming, including my full cruise review and more Scarlet Lady secrets. So please subscribe, you don't wanna miss those. I would love to have you join the Freshly Squeezed Traveling Party. Now, if you've made it all the way to this portion of the video, first of all, thank you. I appreciate you very much but I think you do deserve a reward. And I got a couple things for you on my recent sailing. I have two of these Virgin bags for you. They have the Virgin logo right here and also the octopus, which is the Scarlet Ladies mascot. These of course are brand new and I would love to send them to you. All you have to do to enter to win one is to be a subscriber to my channel and also leave a comment below with the word octopus in the comment and I will enter you into the drawing. You also do have to reside in the United States because I have to pay for shipping. So go ahead and enter, it's free and I will randomly pick two winners on June 20th. If you'd like to talk Virgin Cruising with me just a little bit longer, I will link two videos at the end that I think you might like. The video on the left is seven super secrets of the Scarlet Lady. And the video on the right is 15 fast facts you should know before visiting Bimini Beach Club. Until next time, I hope you have happy and safe travels. I appreciate you and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.